At first sight the Mamba resembles a somewhat bulky but conventional personnel carrier but it was developed not only as an APC but as a mine protected vehicle for operations in areas where land mines are likely to be encountered. It was developed following a long series of mine-proofed vehicles specifically produced to counter the mine warfare conditions once prevalent along the South African borders and in the former Rhodesia. The Mamba produced by Reurnex Sandrock, thus has an armored underline with sloped plates intended to direct line worst of a mine blast away from the vehicle. The chassis itself it's based around the use of Unimog components and the Mamba thus has a remarkable cross-country performance. The steel upper hull can be armored virtually according to requirements but is usually proof against small arms fire and ammunition splinters. The interior has the commander and driver seated side by side and up to nine troops seated in close proximity in the rear. Entry to all position is via a single door at the rear or via roof hatches. The commander has a roof hatch over which a machine gun can be mounted, if required. All occupants are provided with bulletproof windows and the entire roof can be opened up when necessary. The rear area can be readily configured to form an armored ambulance or a command vehicle. Other body types include a flatbed body for load carrying, to mount light weapons, or to accommodate a recovery hamper. It has been proposed that B-Mamba could be fitted out as a VIP protected transport. The Mamba has been acquired by the South African National Defense Force and some other countries. The Mamba was also licensed produced in the United Kingdom. This APC has also been used by United Nations forces operating in the former Yugoslavia. Its successor became an RG-31 Niala. It follows the lines of the Mamba. This MRAP vehicle was widely exported. It is in service with Canada, Spain, USA and a number of other countries around the world. The RG-31 has become the multi-purpose vehicle of choice of peacekeeping forces. It has seen combat during the war in Iraq, Afghanistan and a number of other military conflicts. 